Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can work with a split screen view. And in this example, I want to show you how you can work with the Gantt chart in the top half of the screen and the network diagram in the bottom half of the screen. So first of all, let's do some little tasks. So I'll call this Project A. We'll have task one, task two, task three like that they can all be one day tasks I'll help press escape to get rid of that and then we'll just um, indent these three back to tasks indent and everything's one day then I'll just link these up as well so they just follow on like so great now to get the network diagram which is this if I click on it first of all you see that's the same set of tasks in the network diagram view but for that to appear with the Gantt chart what you need to do, use is a split screen feature which is on the view tab click on view and then over on the right you've got split view now when you tick details it will give you the task form but you can select options within there one of them being the network diagram now, at the moment, it's just highlighting one item, one task. If I highlight all three, it will give me all three. If I highlight the project, it will give me the summary task as well. So this is the same project information, but almost like a flow chart going through the project like so. Now, you can change the table information as you can on this one. If I go to tables and select the cost table, for example, that's the same information in terms of cost but when I come back to this one it is not showing the cost information it's still showing the default but if I just right click into the white area you can go into different areas of this like layout this is all the layout bits for this diagram you can set this up in different styles if you like and color it in if I cancel that if you double click on the white area you can actually get into the tables like the cost table for example so at the moment it's on well I'm clicked on this summary it's showing the summary information but if I go to cost that will show the cost information uh, these are the ones that are showing red because they're all critical uh, if I click on the critical I can do the same thing there click on cost click OK and then that's now showing the cost information of which there isn't any because I've not added any resources. But if I just go to uh, the resource sheet and add a couple. So if I click on, let's take this split off and do that. Let's go to the resource sheet. Let's add bill and then they could both be on £10 an hour. 10, 10. So now I will have some costs if I allocate these people so I flick this back over to the entry table and then you can allocate these people that you just added in there to these tasks so I'll add those two to that task and then Ben to that one and then Bill to that one so now if I flick over to the cost table I do have some figures that's the actual cost I haven't saved a baseline so it's not showing that if we go back to the split screen and select again network network diagram I highlight these four I get the whole thing sitting underneath with the cost information sitting in there now if I go up to project and set a baseline this baseline column will be filled in and so will that there so if I set baseline baseline okay you see the the baseline figure fill it in there and that baseline column filled in there now if you want to if I right click again and just um, if I double click I'll double click you see if I right click it's just the box styles you want to go to same place if you want you can create your own templates you can go to more templates and these are the ones that are preset you can create new and you can just add your own so if I just call this Steve for example and then you can basically populate um, the fields so if I just type ID in there that'll give you the ID field and then name which will be task name and then I'll go percentage complete 
and then maybe duration duration and then start and then finish stuff like that you can just you can see it filling in there and then let's go for actual cost that one and then you can just fill the rest in I'll just leave it like that for now if I click OK to that that becomes available close this and then now I can select that I'm on I've already got that selected remember but there's Steve so that information now goes into there and that obviously becomes a lot smaller so if I double click again I could do it for the critical tasks okay not okay Steve critical select Steve okay so now, now they've all become a lot smaller because of the information in there so that's how you can change that now they're all showing critical and if I go back to the top part of the screen and just go back to a view and select the table put it back to entry for a second this is not it is critical but it's not displaying critical if I go to Gantt chart format I can tick this option and they're showing red as, as well as as are these these that's why they're red they would show red also but if I make one of these not critical so if I say that one is three days um, and just break that link so there's no link there now Bill is doing that task and because it's not linked it's gone blue which means it's not critical and I want to highlight this don't worry about the over allocation you can see what's happened there so if I double click on there so this task in fact before I double click I need to click on that that task is not picking up this sort of style so if I double click on there I can select so it's non-critical I can select the same template so it has the same information even though it's colored a different color so you can see it's slightly colored differently if you want if you want like I said you can change not just um, the styles you can go into layout and you can change everything really you can you can change the colors and the alignment of everything in these boxes it's totally up to you there's red for critical whatever you want to do click OK to that so that's all I want to talk about in this little video how you can use the network diagram in conjunction with a Gantt chart with this split screen feature so hopefully that video was of use thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one